Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Webdo. In the previous video, we have seen how to watch the reference variable, ref variable in the composable. We have seen it. Now we need we will be closing this composables concept. Before closing this composable concept, let's try to discuss about the best conventions and the best practices how to use these composables in an application. Let's try to see. First of all, you will get the naming convention. Here we have seen the three the three composables we are having: event.js, mouse.js, and also use fetch.js. So these three are composables only. The normal naming convention. If you try to see the naming convention, first one we are using use fetch, and the second one we are having normal event, and the third one we are having mouse.js. So what is the perfect naming convention for this for the creation of this composable? So the nor normal naming convention is it is a convention to name composable functions with camel case names that start with use. So here we need to use just like how you will create the file in the JavaScript camel case. So like that only we will be creating, but we will you we will use the keyword use before the file name. So it, it, it needs to start with use. So that is the naming convention. The second one which I want to tell you is input arguments. So you know that the composable can also accept the reference ref arguments also. Not only the normal variables, it also accepts the ref arguments. And it uh, even if it does not rely on the reactivity. So if you are writing a composable that is used by the other developers, it is a good practice to handle the case of input arguments being refs instead of raw values. So for that one, we have an utility function unref. We have already seen whether it is a ref or not means we will be using is ref utility function or otherwise if you want to remove the ref means so we will be using the unref utility function. So for that one how you will create is so I will create a new file use feature anything use feature.js and here what you will do is export function use feature so this is the thing. And here you will be having a ref variable. So it may be a ref or not a ref. We don't know. So what can you do? It's a best practice to unref this one. So if it is not a ref means normally the raw, value, the raw value will be written. If it is a ref means so it will be unref and it will be written. So here you can use the maybe like this. So this is the thing. If your com composable creates a reactive effects. So this is how we will be doing. So if your composable creates a reactive effects, uh, effects when the input is a ref. Then you should be make sure that we need to use it in the watch thing. How we have used it in the use fetch. So we, we can use it in the watch effect or otherwise you can simply call the unref thing. So that is how you will be using. So the return values. So we have seen about the input arguments. So that is nothing but if you are having a ref means so you can unref it. And the another one is the return values. So the last one is the return values thing. So how you will do this return values. For example, you have probably noticed that uh, we are exclusively using the ref instead of reactive in composables. So these are all the ref values only instead of using the reactive in composables. The recommended com convention for this is for composables to always return a plain non reactive object containing the multiple refs. So this is the recommended convention. So what you need to do, you need to return a plain object, non reactive object that contains the multiple refs. So that is the thing. This allows it to, to be destructured in components while retaining the reactivity. So for example, whenever you are trying to use it. So here if you try, if you use this app dot view anywhere, wherever you are using. So we will be using like this, right? Here if you want to use. So whenever you are using, so we will be using in such a way. Okay. Post.js. Right? Go to the post.js. Post dot view here I think post component uh, post yeah here we are using so whenever you are trying to use this use fetch or anything so here we are using it right so if you want to re if you want to return the reactive or anything means so you can use something like reactive of and you can you can add it like this so that here you will be having the values okay and you can call it using the values dot post and values dot error. So here you can call it using values dot post and values dot error. In return, these these two are will be again a ref values only. 
So like this also, you can, if you want to use it in the reactive, you can use it like this also. It's not a problem. So like this. So this is one way which you, I want to tell you. So this is all about the, what I can say is about this one, what I can say is about the composable thing. Okay. About the written values and the side effects. So the side effects also is one of the things. So it is okay to perform the side effects in the composables also something like DOM event listeners and all those things. But you should be very careful that whenever you are using, you are adding an event listener uh, in the composable, remember to clean up that side effect in the on unmounted. For example, if a composable sets up a DOM event listener, which we have already did in the mouse, mouse thing, the use event listener and this one is in the event.js file. Yeah, whenever we are trying to create a add event listener, so we should call, we should uh, remove that event listener on the on unmounted. As we have seen it in the use mouse example, use mouse example, it can be good idea to use a composable that automatically does this for you, like the use event listener. So which we have seen it here. So this is one thing which you need to remember. Composables should always be called synchronously in the script setup or the setup hook. In some cases, you can also call them in the lifecycle looks like unmounted also. So that is one thing. And uh, what I can say is uh, that's all. That's uh, that's it all about the composable thing. So composables we can also use it in the options API. So whenever you are trying to use it in the options API, so you know that options API, right? I will try to write the same simple scenario. So if you are having a script thing here, so this one all, and here you can write export default, and here you will be having a setup method. First one is the setup method. So in this setup method, you need to call the use mouse or anything. So whichever you are trying to call, you need to call it here and these variables. So constant X comma Y. So we'll be getting this right constant X comma Y. So these things should be used in the on mounted or anything here setup mounted. If you try to use it, so these things can be called using this dot X console dot log. These things can be called using this dot x like this. So this is how you will be using it in the options API. In the composition API, it's normal thing only. Now what I want to tell you is users coming from the view to maybe you will be familiar with the mixins option, which always which also allows us to extract the component logic into a reusable unit. There are three primary drawbacks in the mixins. First one is the unclear source of properties. Next one is the namespace collisions and implicit cross mixin communication. So because of these reasons, we are no longer recommended using the mixins in the view three, but this feature is kept only for the migration and the familiarity reasons. So this is all about the composables concept, the naming conventions and the best practices, how to use the composable thing. Hope you understood about this composables concept. So if you have any doubts or any suggestions, please post the comments below to this video. And if you like this video, please do support me by subscribing to my channel. Thank you.